Uh, I believe Dr. Geyer uh, indicated that uh, since the 80s, there have been 1,500 plus articles written in scientific journals about the problems with mercury and thimerosal. Why hasn't the uh, health agencies of our government done something about it before now? 1,500 articles. Dr. Mitten? Um, the, uh, the review that we did um, in response to PADAMA went over the literature that existed, and uh, it was our assessment that certainly, as Dr. Baskin was saying, we all know that mercury itself in larger amounts is clearly a toxicant, but our assessment was that the amounts that were present in the vaccines, uh, that there did not um, there was, that those were safe and effective, and that certainly, though, our assessment was that whenever possible, it's good as a precautionary measure to limit the exposure to mercury from any sources. And in the U.S., since we do have the ability, in principle, to move to single-dose presentations that don't require uh, a preservative, that that would be the appropriate precautionary step to take. Well, why haven't we done that before now? I mean, uh, in 1998, the FDA showed it was concerned about uh, neurotoxic uh, effect of uh, mercury from cumulative dosing. And if you look at exhibit number three, do you have that um, in front of you? No, I don't. Could I please see those? Yeah, give that to him, will you please? I want to read you what uh, this, this is a, a memo from Dr. Marion uh, Gruber to Dr. Carolyn Hardegree and Dr. Norman Baylor of the FDA. It was dated. Uh, September 17, 1998, and it's entitled Point Paper, Preclinical Reproductive uh, Toxicity Studies for Vaccines. And on number C there, if you're looking at it, it says, Dr. Uh, Gruber says, for investigational vaccines indicated for uh, material immunization, the use of single-dose vials should be required to avoid the needs of preservatives in multi-dose vials as are required by the Code of Federal Regulations. Of concern here is the potential neurotoxic effect of mercury, especially when considering cumulative doses of this component early in infancy. All mercury-containing vaccine formulations should be evaluated in appropriate preclinical reproductive toxicology studies that include the assessment of postnatal behavioral and developmental endpoints. Read that. Um, I'm sorry, I don't see point C on here. I'm looking at exhibit three, and I see A and B. It's on page four. Page two, mm -hmm. three, And these are four. some of your, some of your. Uh, I still, I'm sorry, I still don't see point C on page four. I see the heading, the first bold heading. The last paragraph down at the bottom. For investigational vaccines indicated for maternal immunization, that paragraph? Yeah. Okay, um, let me take a look at that, please. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a specific reference to maternal immunization, specifically evaluating investigational vaccines to administer to pregnant women. Right. And, uh, and there, you know, the, the, uh, you know, obviously, again, as a, as a precautionary measure to, to limit the exposure to, to mercury and also it, to evaluate any vaccine that is investigational that you're uh -huh. trying to evaluate for that particular use that these kinds of studies should be done. So this is a specific reference to vaccination of, of pregnant women for so vaccines get, me, indicated for them. Let me get this straight. There are 1,500 articles written about the problems with thimerosal in vaccines. We've had a 40-fold increase in the number of children that are autistic. You had this statement regarding pre pregnant women, and yet you didn't think that there was any concern about children, infants getting these vaccines that had thimerosal in them at that time? Again, I, I haven't had an opportunity to look at this whole um, this whole memorandum, but I think that you know clearly this relates to a time pursuant to the FDAMA, you know, FDA Modernization Act in 1997, when a process was initiated to review you know mercury in general and all drugs and uh, biologics, including of course vaccines. Do you, do, you, do you think mercury is a bad thing to be putting in your body? I think we recognize that mercury in large amounts clearly is harmful. Well, how much is a large amount? You know, there are different studies that have been done to look at that, and I, I think that some of the studies uh, that came out of the Faroe Islands uh, indicated that perhaps lower amounts 
could cause problems based on subtle neurodevelopmental mm. um, observations that were seen in that study. Um, although my understanding was that some of the interpretations of that study were also somewhat confounded by the, the probable exposure oh. to PCBs. Enough. But I, enough. I think that. Enough. That's enough. I, I just don't want to hear any more of that. 